Hey, what's up guys, it's Victor from Cyborg for Life, and today I wanna to talk about some alternatives to lemon surgery, and then I'm gonna speculate about some future possibilities. So currently, the only alternatives to lemon surgery are for younger individuals whose epiphyseal plates haven't fused after puberty. Because if your growth plates do close up shop, well then you're done growing for life, all right? Now typically this is gonna happen sometime after the age of 17 for guys, age 15 for girls, uh, but it can vary from person to person. Now, let's say that there's a growing boy who's um, growth plates haven't fused yet and he goes to his family doctor who notices he has a growth hormone deficiency and they tell him that he may not you know grow to uh, reach normal size or his predicted max and so they refer him to an endocrinologist who administers growth hormone therapy okay and this is to basically bolster a stronger growth response to help him grow taller Growth hormone therapy has been used for a multitude of different conditions. I mean, you think about teens with growth hormone deficiency, idiopathic short stature, dwarfism, uh, Russell Silver, Turner, Prader-Willi syndromes, you name it, it's been used for a ton of different conditions, okay? And in these kids, if you've already ruled out poor nutrition and underactive thyroid, and let's say that they do have normal growth hormone levels, or they're not responding to growth hormone therapy, and they're still not growing taller, well, then it may be due to an IGF-1 deficiency, an insulin-like growth factor 1 deficiency, okay? And then the doctor can prescribe something like Incrilex um, to help boost this crucial hormone and help them grow taller, okay? And for patients with achondroplasia, the most common form of dwarfism, you have the drug Voseratide from the company Biomarin, which basically, um, it, the way it works is basically it helps helps these patients grow taller by binding to a receptor that essentially inhibits the FGFR3 um, uh, pathway, which is left alone can cause havoc on how the chondrocytes convert to new bone and thus affect their height, okay? And this is also similar to what another biotech company is doing. I know it's crazy what's going on out there. Um, CK Biotech, I actually reached out to the, uh, I guess he's the owner, um, Professor Choi of CK Biotech. And um, I asked him to interview. He politely declined because he's working on some top secret stuff. Uh, but essentially, he's, um, they, they're working on making targeted drugs that interfere with the CXXC5, which is a negative re uh, feedback regulator of the Wnt beta catenin pathway. And... Um, I know I'm getting real scientific with you guys, but I love this. I nerd out with it all the time. And um, these targeted drugs can allow for normal bone growth in kids who are still growing. So this could be an alternative to growth hormone therapy, okay? Because growth hormone therapy sometimes has side effects. So as you can see, when it comes to those who are still growing, there are quite a few options to assist in maximizing height. However, what about adults who are already done growing or their growth plates have reached senescence, meaning they're slowing down? What options do they have other than the current limb lengthening surgery technology? Well, unfortunately, none as of yet, but I wanted to speculate on what could be in the future, okay? So if the current limb lengthening technology we have, you have to break the legs, implant some sort of lengthening device, you have to um, lengthen the legs, you have to get the device removed, all while mitigating pain through consistent rehab. If there could be an alternative to any one of these steps, that would be progress in my book, okay? Now, for example, there's research being started right now to try to induce stem cells, okay, to convert or transdifferentiate bone cells back into chondrocytes. This means if this works, this could, this, you could technically reactivate your growth plates and then grow taller. As cool as something like that would be, and I would love to see that, um, if you could reactivate your growth plates, um, you know, I think it's, it's a long ways off. And if it happens at all, not, I mean, just think about it. How would you regulate the growth? Would you use some sort of remote or something like that? Okay. Um, but then brings up the interesting um, theory of lipus technology, low intensity pulse ultrasound, which basically there has been some uh, research done on how it can stimulate bone growth. Um, as some studies show that the jaw bones of rats had increased in the mandibular, mandibular bone um, increase the width of and the size of it. So that's pretty cool. It's interesting, but nothing promising yet. So what about expediting the healing process with stem cells to help bone healing? Well, this has actually been going on for some, some time now. I know some, some limb lengthening surgeons use BMAC uh, injections to help their patients with bone healing, especially the tibia since it heals slower than the femur, okay? So perhaps guys, we're just daydreaming, hoping for the day that we could just pop a pill, magically lengthen our legs at a slow enough rate where we control with our you know, our smartphone, um, yeah, where it won't cause any soft tissue problems and it would be more affordable and less painful, less invasive than the current typical 
limb lengthening surgery. But unfortunately, we're not there yet, and we're gonna have to do our best with the current technology, which is still amazing, considering where it was just a decade ago. I mean, 10 years ago, the version one of the Precise Nail hadn't even hit the market. And now look at, you know, we have the Stride Nail, the fully weight-bearing nail, and uh, it helps with patient recovery and all, okay? So I wish I had some sort of breakthrough alternative for those who have stopped growing, which is, I'm sure is a lot of you who is watching this right now. And, um, and so the search continues, all right? All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. Hey, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't. And until next time, this is Victor from Cyborg for Life, signing out.